Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting teaser session. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the tutorials that I'm going to be showing you in the next two or three weeks. So starting from the first one, uh, I would like to teach you how to use SVG and obviously easing functions to create something like this. So this is a work in progress, so it's not finished yet, but imagine this is a menu and this is basically like a uh, mobile screen and then you have a menu right here from the left and you want to like drag it right so that it gets shown so if I if I do a little bit you see the the elasticity over there and if you go a little bit more it's gonna become a full menu and there are like I don't know maybe like links and stuff to to different parts of the app uh, or website and then when you click on this area it will go back right so so show, showing you again there is this elasticity as you can see and then if you do a little bit more drag it a little bit more it will become like this and this is basically generated using SVG and that elasticity is obviously using JavaScript and easing functions that elasticity you cannot generate uh, you know solely using CSS the next one is this kind of cool uh, sort of animation. This is like a PayPal card and as you can see there are a bunch of elements happening here animation, easing and also the layout. So I went ahead and created the layout itself as you can see here. Uh, I'm going to be talking about how to put the layout so that everything is so performant and also how to create these kind of shapes over here using pseudo elements and also maybe a little bit on how I created this barcode uh, using SCSS right so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well the next tutorial is basically this one so well this is purely using JavaScript and SVG as you can see uh, the, 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 the way it reveals itself is pretty cool and also when you click on this you get this cool animation and you have love and hate of when you when you hover on them you see these kind of willing to explode and when you click on it it kind of has this cool sort of animation. The next tutorial that I will be talking about is how to create uh, basically a layout anyways by itself, but also how to create these sort of tilted headers, right? So there's a trend going on right now. There are a lot of websites that have these tilted uh, sort of header and sections. So by the time we get to this tutorial, I'm going to make sure that everything is ready so that I can fully teach you how to create these kind of headers. The next tutorial that I want to talk about is again SVG. Uh, I got a lot of requests about SVG animation so uh, I'm gonna run this animation and see how cool the effect looks like. Boom, right? So you have this sort of square that has this cool reveal and uh, I'm going to tell you how to create this as well and then obviously based on the same technique you can create more awesome stuff. So in general in the next couple of weeks I'm going to show you how to create uh, sort of advanced animations using SVG and JavaScript but also I'm going to focus a little bit on how to create layouts, right? Uh, another, another announcement that I have, we're working on two uh, basically two, uh, two courses on JavaScript and CSS. Uh, they will be ready maybe in a month or two, so I just wanted to give you a heads up. In those courses, we're going to go uh, through creating uh, different stuff. Uh, first one is a little bit more towards like basics, so I know a lot of people who visit this channel uh, do not have the basic knowledge so I thought that I have to include those guys as well but also for intermediate and advanced people those to, those uh, you know sort of tutorials in those courses will be very useful and also obviously I have courses in JavaScript again basics and advanced and intermediate as well I, I will charge a little bit of course for those because I put some time off from my work to generate those plus a bunch of other friends of mine will help me create those uh, probably it's gonna be like a, you know the cost of a lunch or something maybe around twenty dollars uh, for, for each each course 
So anyways, I, I hope you enjoy these tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and trigger that subscribe, subscribe button so that you get notified on when these tutorials get ready. So have a wonderful weekend and wish you the best day or night. Goodbye.